hi welcome to another video if you're new here welcome consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video today we're going to be trying out dip powder for the first time this is my very first time ever using it so we're going to go ahead and get into it right here i'm just sizing up my nail tips um these nail tips i actually got from a local beauty a local nail supply store in my hometown um so i'm just going to size those up once i get those sized up i'm going to go ahead and glue those on and then foul and shape them i'm um, going to also blend them in with my natural nail so i'm going to let you guys go ahead and sit back and watch that Okay, and once I get them all fouled and reshaped, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the dip powder. I'm going to be using this Pretty Diva dip powder. I think these two colors are absolutely pretty, 004 and 001. Um, they actually reached out to me to try some of their other products on Instagram. Um, and then once I got those, I realized that I already had some dip powder from them. So I'm going to use their top coat as well as their dip powder today. Um, it didn't come with the base and the activator so i am going to be using the base and activator from another brand um so yes i didn't do any prep because i don't want these nails to last um but if you did you would go ahead and push back your cuticles um buff off that shine go in with the hydrator and primer and then go ahead and proceed with your dip powder method so i'm going to go in with that first step which is the base coat i was going to use my little pink dip container but then i opted to just go ahead and dip my fingers in um, for an easier process so that's what i'm going to do i did um give each nail um i believe two coats and then i did go around the cuticle area a third time just to try to get an apex um not much success but overall they came out pretty good still Okay, so after going over each of the nails, I'm going to go in with the step two, which is the activator, which makes the nails hard. So I'm going to go in with a generous amount over each nail, and then I'm going to wait and let that air dry, um, maybe 15 to 20 seconds or so um, until it feels completely hard. Then I'll go in with my fouling, reshaping, and buffing of the nails. Um, it don't look like you'll have to do much just because it is the dip powder. Um, so pretty much we're just going to clean them up and make sure we get that shape back, um, buff them, and make sure there's no lumps or bumps in
And so it also came with um, a brush cleaner. So I did make sure to clean off my base coat and my activator brush. Um, so after applying that and letting them get hard, I'm just going to go in over my nail dust collector and refile shape and buff them. Um, and this is how they look. I'm going to go in with the top coat and I did apply a few gems to the red nails, the pinky, the ring, and the pointer finger. Here's the Pretty Diva top coat. Um, overall, the dip powder in the top coat worked very well. I had no issues. Um, for my first time with dip powder, it was a pretty cool experience, no problems. Um, the only thing, you know, like I said, you can't get that apex like we like, but it's not a super total fail. So yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I will leave the links below to purchase these items if you guys are interested. Okay, so after applying my top coat, I am going to go ahead and cure that. I'm then going to go in with these iridescent gems um, and just apply them to the nails. I did use a new um, glue adhesive that I got off of Amazon. Um, overall, it did apply them well. It was a little sticky. And one thing to keep in mind is that the UV lamp did not cure it. Um, it actually took a little while to cure. So um, I would say it does help stick them but it's kind of a con to have to kind of wait you know so long for it to dry um but i would say overall maybe it took about an hour or so to dry um so yeah that's just something to keep in mind um i will link that down below as well it came with the whole gem kit so it came with rhinestones the glue um gem pickers and everything as well um so yes yeah, so i'm just going to go ahead and apply those after applying my gems that's pretty much it um and then I'm going to go ahead and add my cuticle oil and that will pretty much be all. So I'll check back in at the end. And here's the final look. Overall, I'm very satisfied with how they came out. That glitter is just giving me life. It's so pretty. Um, the camera did not do it any justice at all. And even the red, it had little specks of glitter in it as well. Um, the placement of the rhinestones, I'm very simple. So I like simple placement, but just overall, I really love how it came out. I think the glitter and the red, they just go together perfectly. And then with the iridescent little gems, just, uh, I love it. I've been staring at it all day, just doing different angles and everything. And I'm just, I'm obsessed with it. I can't lie, that red just pops. So 
yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave me a comment below let me know have you ever used dip powder how do you guys like it and yes don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye